right in the middle of the street at 1 a.m. That is our car stopped. It was out of gas. Let me tell you how we got in this situation. My brother and I in college, we had a Volkswagen Golf. It was like, it wasn't powder blue. It was a blue that, a lighter blue with a metallic sheen, like a grayish, grayish undertone to it. We love that car. It was stick shift, five speed, and we shared that car perfectly and took it everywhere. Road trips all over the place throughout all of college. There was one thing with the car, though. My dad, he went with us to the dealership to buy the car. And honestly, they paid for most of the car. We paid for the insurance and the gas. My parents took care of the car payments. I told you all before, I did not have a bad life. My parents, yeah. that's not what we're talking about. Let's get to back to the car. Had this car. Now, the gas gauge, brand new car, fresh off the lot, never been driven by anyone. The car's gas gauge did not work. We took it back there. They sort of fixed it. And then it started not to work again. My dad kept telling us, take that car back, get the gas gauge set. Take that car back, get the gas gauge set. We busy. We, we in college. We teenagers-ish. Like teenager on the cusp-ish of non-teenagerhood. That was where we were. And, you know, we just like, we'll do it one day. We'll do it later later never came. What we would do is we'll fill up the tank and we know just about how much mileage we can get on a tank of gas. And that's how we gauged when we would, <laughs> when we were almost out of gas. Cause we just, you just, we had no clue. When I tell you we had no clue, we had no clue that gas gauge was not working. Went over a friend's house one night, hanging out, just having ourselves a good time. And it was late o'clock. We went we were watching a movie with them, heading home. We were just like a mile from the house. And the car just, oh, no warning, no nothing, stopped point blank in the middle of the street, no gas. It was me, my brother, and my sister. We were like, what are we going to do? Because it was late o'clock. You know, we couldn't call our dad to come get us. And then the car was sitting there. We came up with a brilliant idea. We were going to push this car home and push. We did. We pushed that car a mile home while our little sister, she was like 15, 16, maybe then stared at the car. <laughs> we had some hills. Yes. I know you're asking, do y'all have some hills? Yes, we had some hills, not big hills, but hills nonetheless. And it's so funny. <laughs> Got the car, have a home, and end up like running into the garage when we get to got to the. I mean, we didn't damage damage the garage, but it was just like the kicker. We ran ran the car into the garage because you know there was like a little bit of a little slope to go into our driveway, and we just like let go of the brakes too easy. It was a mess. Listen here, guys. <laughs> Don't be putting stuff off when you need to get it done. Wisdom understands that by putting stuff off, there's a lot of people that end up suffering the consequences. You, of course, because chances are you're putting off something that's important, something that needs to be done. And the people that are relying on you to actually get the thing done is are going to get in problems too. Because who knows what kind of snowball effect, snowball effect your putting stuff off is going to happen because you often think that everything just affects you. No, things affect other people. You jeopardize other people's safety. You never know when you keep putting, when you put stuff off, get th some things done. Now there's stupidness. You're like, Oh, I'll do it later. It's no big deal. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Later never comes. Only consequences do. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below, have you ever put something off, something important that needed to be done? Let me know. Anyway, there you have it. Wisdom, stupidness, choose wisdom. And remember, show me your brightest, show me your best, show me the latest guru. God's wisdom lets theirs look like stupidness.
All right, guys, I'm out. Have an amazing Thanksgiving. Thank you all so much for being here.